Zoom's Focus Mode feature gives the host a view of all participants' videos, but without the other participants being able to see each other. And this extends into screen sharing, so the host can see participants' screens, but they can't see each other's screens. This can be a helpful feature if you're trying to proctor an exam that students are taking remotely. So let me show you how you have to start by enabling it. Make sure you sign into your Zoom web portal, which you can always access through Maya and you by clicking on Zoom. Sign in with your Purple Pass credentials. Once signed in, you'll need to click on Settings. And then under the Meeting tab, navigate to In Meeting Advanced. And you're looking for Focus Mode. Once you find Focus Mode, you'll want to go ahead and toggle it on. If you think you'll be using this quite a bit, you can also enable it when you're scheduling the meeting so that the meeting starts in Focus Mode if you'd like. I don't use that that much, so I'll leave that one off. It still always remains an in-meeting option for me. Also in your settings, you'll want to open Zoom and make sure you're running the latest version of the client application. So you can see mine has been successfully updated, but if it hadn't been, I could click on my uh, account here, scroll down to check for updates. It tells me that I'm up to date. If it wasn't, it would tell me what updates I needed and then I'd have the ability to install it. So you want to do all of these things before you start a meeting where you're going to need this, just to make sure you'll have what you need. Once you begin the meeting, if you get into the meeting before your students do, you can go ahead and turn on focus mode so that then when they come in, they can only see you. You do this by clicking on more and then start focus mode. You'll see this warning that tells you that they'll only be able to see the host, which is yourself, any co-hosts you've elected to enable, and then any content you share. So if you're putting something up that you want everyone to see, that's fine um, as the host. But if you have them share their screens, they will not be able to see each other's screens. So you can go ahead and say start. You'll know you're in focus mode because you have this little focus icon up here. Now when you want your students to start sharing their screen, so you want to see everybody's to make sure that they're not navigating away from the assessment and onto Google, for example, um, under your screen sharing settings, there's one thing you want to make sure you have enabled. You want to make sure that multiple participants can share simultaneously. So this way all of your students can be sharing their screens, but again, they can only see their own screen and the host. They can't see what their peers are sharing. So you want to go ahead and check this. While in focus mode, your students will display along up at the top, but you can change this view by clicking on view and choosing different ones as far as speaker or gallery, uh, but I think this works best. And then to see the different students' screens, under view options, you can choose whose screen you want to look at. If you want to look at Hannah's, if you want to look at Catherine's. The students cannot see each other and they cannot see each other's screens, uh, but you can navigate through all of the different ones. I'm now going to turn the hosting privileges over to Raekwon so you can see what this looks like as a student. Now that Raekwon is the professor and I'm a student, I can only see my own video while I'm taking the test and I can only see Raekwon. I can't see Catherine or Hannah's video anymore and I no longer have the ability to see anybody else's shared screens. The last thing to remember is the chat feature. If you have it enabled in your settings, students can send messages privately to each other. So you can always turn this off if you forget to do so before the meeting starts by clicking on the chat and then clicking on the three dots here and say participants can chat with no one or just the host. I would say just the host and the co-host. Keep in mind that if your students unmute and begin talking in the middle of the exam or the assessment, they will still hear each other. Um, so if a student needs to communicate with you directly, encourage them to send you a private message through the chat.